Hey, what's up everybody? I am Jason and you're watching my channel, Micro Investor. In this video, we're, we're gonna be talking about a new 3D printing stock called Desktop Metals, which is going to be going public through a reverse merger through a SPAC company called Trine Acquisitions, ticker symbol T-R-N-E. So Desktop Metals is very interesting because they do 3D metal printing and they have an advanced technology to do all this stuff. So this is a very interesting one to be talking about. So as we get into this, if you guys don't mind, please do me a huge favor and please be sure to smash, destroy, and annihilate that like button because it does help me out with the YouTube algorithm and help spread this video to more people that might find it interesting. And also subscribe if you have not already. Now let's get to this. <laughs> Desktop Metals is a 3D metal printing company with advanced manufacturing technology. The market for this technology is expected to grow from $12 billion at the present to $146 billion over the next 10 years. The 3D metal printing industry has grown at a 25% compound annual growth rate over the last three years. This is up from 20% in the prior decade. Most of the company's clientele are in the automotive manufacturing industry. Desktop metals will receive $575 million 300 million of which will be in the form of cash and TRNE stock and 275 million dollars from a pipe a private investment in public equity at $10 per share. The company believes the post merger cash on hand will be 625 million dollars and its post transaction market value will be 2.5 billion dollars. The symbol on the New York Stock Exchange will change from TRNE to DM after the reverse merger is complete. Now let's look at the investors and some of the people that are involved in this. As far as the $275 million investment to take desktop metals public, the investors are Miller Value Partners, XN, Baron Capital Group, Chamath Palahapatia, you, you know we talk about him a lot, JB Straubel, and HPS Investment Partners. And to be honest, when I see Chamath Palahapatia involved in some sort of investment, I know it has to be something good. And here are some of the big investors that are already invested into desktop metals, and they will retain their equity holdings once it becomes a publicly listed company. Um, that is Lux Capital, NEA, Kleiner Perkins, Ford Motor Company, GV, which is formerly Google Ventures, and Kosh Disruptive Technologies. And another investor that they have that was not on that last report is BMW. And as you can see that they have several different vehicle manufacturers that are customers, but Ford and BMW are not just customers, they're also investors. And there are some other big customers worth mentioning, like Google, Bosch, Stanley Black & Decker, Lockheed Martin, US Army and Navy, just to name a few. And there are some key people on their board of directors, like someone from Google Ventures, as well as Ford's chief manufacturing officer, as well as many other investment and business managers. Let's take a look at their financials. In 2019, they had a revenue of $26.4 million, and they're expecting to have less revenue in 2020 for obvious reasons with the pandemic obviously taking an effect there. But then they see revenue continue to grow after that. And by 2023, they see themselves being a profitable company by then with a 200% compound annual growth rate. And there are a lot of growing industries where 3D metal printing can be very beneficial, like electric vehicles, space exploration, robotics, green energy, and many more. Looking at TRNE stock over the last couple months, we'll see that it really spiked up a lot at the end of August. And that was when the announcement came that they were going to do the uh, reverse merger with desktop metals. And then, um, then it went up into September, but eventually it lost its momentum and came down. Now, seeing how much the stock has come down uh, recently and how it's close to where it was before it was announced that they were going to be merging with desktop metals, in my personal opinion, not financial advice, I see this as being a buying opportunity now to get in on this. Uh, this is, Desktop uh, Metals is a company that has uh, contracts with the Department of Defense. You know, they're doing things for the uh, for so many different companies. They're doing so many big things, and 
they have capabilities to manufacture things and no one else can at the speed that they can. So th there is a lot going for this company. And in my personal opinion, uh, I see this as something that I should probably be jumping on, especially since 3D printing uh, stocks right now are pretty hot. And this is an industry that is growing. And the 3D metal industry, they're the only one big player in this game right now. So uh, to me, time to get a jump start on it. So anyways, I'd like to hear what your guys' opinions are of desktop middles and this whole SPAC merger. Anyways, as always, everybody, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos coming out on my channel all the time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.